Hi, my name is Ruteka and I'm a representative from the Civil and Environmental Engineering Society at UNSW. I'm here today in Neutral Bay at Oricon's beautiful head office to take you on a tour and to understand more about what the engineers do on a daily basis in their jobs. So without further ado, let's start. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi Rutika. Are you here for the 21 questions? I absolutely am. The office is so beautiful. Can you show me around? Yeah, it is isn't it? Uh, follow me. Can you tell me a bit about Oricon? Yeah, so Oricon is a global engineering design and advisory firm, which brings its technical abilities and design expertise to a broad range of markets. Oh, cool. Can you show me to your desk? Yeah, sure. Come with me. So now since most of the people have started working from home, we use this app called Hot Desk Plus. So you can book your desk before you come into the office. I usually book my desk a couple of days in advance to get a preferred spot. What is your role at Oricon? Um, so I'm a CSR engineer within the real team. Uh, CSR stands for Combined Services Route. So I work with um, different teams like Signaling, LV or any other teams that need connection for the equipment on the rail corridor. So any equipment you need connection to in the rail corridor, we provide a route for it. And in that role, do you go out onto site often? Yeah, we do have to go out on site sometimes. Wow, you look great. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing you've done at work? Um, so I guess the most interesting thing is the work that I did on the Blue Mountains project. Um, I worked with uh, engineers from various disciplines like tunnels, structures, built environment um, to produce our deliverables on time. Um, I guess there were two great things about the Blue Mountains route. One, obviously how pretty the Blue Mountains line is, I guess no one can deny that. And the other one being um, how while staying in rail, I got to learn about the interface with various teams. Cool. So what is the work culture here like? And are the tasks very collaborative? Um, yeah, the work culture here is really good. Um, even the most senior, most of our people here are always down to have a chat and answer your questions. Um, we have a limelight event every week, which not just ensures career growth, but also mental and physical well-being. Um, and because of COVID, a lot of people choose to work from home or they want to work from office. So our tasks are very collaborative and our meetings are also set up in a way so that people from both office and work can attend together. I'll show you what the meeting set up is like. Thanks everyone for joining. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Um, so that was an example of a virtual meeting right there. Cool. Is your day usually very long or can you decide when to leave the office? Um, no, the days are not too long usually. Um, I can decide when to leave. I'm actually going to go to the gym now. Um, so I'm going to get my colleague here to show you around from here. All right. Thanks, Vakund. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Could you please quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Katarina and I'm a structural engineer part of the build environment team. I can show you around the office. Come with me. So the last project I worked on was actually at the International Airport and it was um, a redevelopment of the duty free area. So one day we'll be able to see the changes there um, once we get to travel overseas. That's pretty cool. And what was the last work call that you made about? That's a good question actually. Um, I was on site doing an inspection and I was just checking with my manager one of the things I saw if it was um, you know, structurally acceptable. Um, collaboration is key at Oricon, you know. It's good to combine all our ideas and just to form a good solution. So what are the Oricon actually? So the Oricon attributes are all the qualities that we have um, collectively as a team and that's how we successfully deliver projects to clients because we combine all our strengths. That's pretty cool. Um, what attribute do you think you resonate with the most? So these are all the attributes um, that we have here on the board and I think I resonate the most with the attribute of fearless because I'm not afraid to bring a challenging idea to the table. Yeah, come join me. Oh my gosh, is that a VR headset? It is, yeah. So Oricon uses um, digital platforms to, uh, you know, use collaboration on major projects and, you know, transform experiences for our clients and stakeholders. This is one of our projects. Shall I show you here? How 
all stay online to the office after a long day. So we have our weekly meetings uh, for Limelight, which is a Emerging Professionals Network, um, which also, you know, aims to help emerging professionals, um, you know, shape their career and future of Oricon through uh, career opportunities um, and also engaging with our blueprint. Um, and we also have week, uh, weekly games here in the kitchen. Do you want to do you want a cup of coffee? Uh, I don't drink coffee. Could I have a cup of tea? Yeah, sure. What are your other development opportunities here at Arapine? Oh, so we have um, we have uh, the diversity team, um, which is you know creating you know a more inclusive culture for um, employees here at Arapine, and also we have um, the sustainability team, which is you know trying to shape a uh, greener future as well and also the i40 which is also like a sort of like an innovation um company focused on you know strategy and you know how to like better deliver to clients cool. yeah there you go awesome thank you let's go outside and get some fresh air How was your gym session? Oh, it was really good. We're doing some hot tea now. That's lovely. Um, I just have a couple more questions. So, Mukund, what do you wish you knew as a university student? Um, I guess um, I, I should have known that it's okay not to know the answers to certain things. Um, in university, I used to get irritated at the fact that I don't know answers to a lot of things. Um, but you have to step out of your comfort zone to find the answers to certain things. Um, we didn't do anything about rail in university, but I joined here as a rail engineer um, and I asked a lot of questions and the team was very encouraging about it and there are no stupid questions. So I guess you should always ask questions and it's okay not to know things. Thank you, that's really encouraging to hear as a university student myself. So Kat, if you could go back in time and change one way that you approach studying engineering in university, what would it be? Um, I would say when you're studying, I would say maybe think about the concepts more than, you know, just the straight simple procedure doing things. Like you like I know there's time pressures within uni and to do, do calculations and you know, not to understand the concept, but it's really important and it will be very beneficial, um, you know, once you start your career and, and you get involved in real life projects, um, understanding, you know the actual what is behind you know the problems and what you can do to fix them so yeah that would be like sort of my final advice and what I wish I knew at uni 